For generations, the Price family has been famous for their shoes. Now, if Charlie can't save the business... I had to fire 15 people today. ...his entire town will be left in the cold. What can I do? Do. Do. Change the product. Ladies, gentlemen, and those who are yet to make up your mind... Look behind you. It's your niche market, Charlie. Do you think there is a market for boots for women? That are men. All this way for my advice, I feel like Oprah. Now, Charlie? if they can learn to work together... <laughs> Morning, Charlie. ...they might just get the town back on its feet. Please, God, tell me I have not inspired something burgundy. But they're comfy. Sex shouldn't be comfy! Thank God, I thought it was just me. You are making two and a half feet of irresistible, tubular sex. Any questions? There are some very funny people out there. <laughs> the only way to succeed in life... Does he look sexy? That's to me, George. ...is to put your best foot forward. I give you the kinky boot factory! Thank you. Kinky boots. Can I just ask, are you a man? I am, love, yes. Just so I know how to leave the toilet seat, I get some biscuits. I'm gonna build you a house. Right here. Our house. I wanna take Mildred up to DC and get married. Are you sure about that? By the power vested in me by the District of Columbia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. In here? Richie! What you doing in bed with that woman? I'm his wife. That's no good here. Richard Perry Loving being a white person and Mildred Jeter being a colored person did unlawfully cohabitate as man and wife. Richard? That ain't right! I believe this is a battle that could go all the way to the Supreme Court. But we ain't hurt anybody. The state of Virginia will argue that it is unfair to bring children of mixed race into the world. Tell that woman to come out of here. Raise my family here. I don't care what they do to us. Get back inside! I can take care of you. I know that. I can take care of you. I know we have some enemies, but we have some friends too. You realize this case could alter the Constitution of the United States. You think you'll lose? We may lose the small battles, but win the big war. Is there anything you'd like me to say to the Supreme Court justices of the United States? Yeah. Tell the judge I love my wife. Modern home. This view is fantastic. The lighting is great. You like it? Yeah. Do you? This is good. <laughs> I'm very happy. Excuse me. Is your name Simon? Yes. Sir. It is you. Hi. We went to school together. This is my wife, Robin. This is I didn't get your name. Gordon Mosley. Uh, Gordo. Gordo. Oh my God. I'm so sorry to recognize you. It's <laughs> been a very, very long time. Welcome home, smiley face Gordo. How do you think he got our address? That's an expensive bottle of wine. We should thank him. I believe that the bad things in life, they can be a gift. That guy's odd. He's a little socially awkward, but I can be like that. Gordo, hi. Hi. <laughs> After high school, and some people stay exactly the same. Thank you. 
he's delusional and thinks that we're friends. Thanks for a lovely dinner. Fish food. You don't find that a little troubling? <laughs> I said that I wanted fish. And all the visits when you're alone. They used to call him Gordo the Weirdo. I think he's nice, and he's been very generous. What you're talking about is a one-sided friendship. You're essentially being forced into a breakup. There's no easy way to say this. Don't visit us anymore. It's not over. Simon, after all these years, I was willing to let bygones be bygones. What does that mean? I do not know. But it must mean something. Hello? Bygones be bygones after all these years. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was big. Was that was Gordo! What does bygones be bygones mean? It's over! Simon has a full file on him. You think he's been lying to you? Just tell me what happened. It's 25 years ago. I have no idea who you really are. Simon says, new house. Simon says, beautiful wife. Simon says, you think you're done with the past, but the past is not done with you. This boy who's currently being looked after. Anything you do say can be used as evidence in any later court appearances, you understand? Yeah. Tell me if you agree with this. This boy who's being looked after, he knows who you are. And you've done some bad things, sweetie. Come me outside! Put him nose, King. He really needs somewhere, Mum. There's things going on. What things? Things. It's the armed robbery squad, mate. We're not actually going to shoot you. Can you hear that? Pull my finger. <laughs> Guys, you just missed him. That's all right. I like you better. What do you think we should do? Two police officers were shot dead. Can you tell me where you were last night? You know the girl, what's her address? Maybe you should start taking your pills again. What's her address? You know, if you ever want to talk about anything or anything, I'm there, right? Everything knows its place in the scheme of things. Things survive because they're strong. You've got to do something about Jay. He's got to go. If you've survived because you've been protected by the strong. But they're not strong anymore. Growing up, we all want to know the toughest kid in the neighborhood was, right? I want to know the toughest man on the planet is. That's what we're going to find out. Brendan, it's me, Pop. What are you doing here? Tommy's back. Did he say if he wants to see me? I'm proud of you, Tommy. What you did for that kid in the tank. What was I supposed to do, let him drown? Tommy Reardon, you saved my life. Look, Brendan, the bank has got to go by the new appraisal figures. You're upside down on your mortgage. How much do you need? I didn't come in for long, Frank. I was hoping that you would train me. Are you serious? Do it! I thought we agreed that we weren't going to raise our children in a family where their father gets beat up for a living. Brendan, you're a teacher. You got no business in the ring with those animals. Actually, I used to be one of those animals. Guess I forgot to put that down on my application. There's this big tournament. Top 16 middleweights in the world. But when it takes all, I'm gonna need a trainer. Not that much you were good at. Frank, I need this. I got a family to protect. Everything I do is for them. What's going on up here? Daddy is now a princess. Mom needed you. I needed you. You're my big brother. You bailed on me. I was a 16-year-old kid. What the hell did I know? You had a choice, okay? You had a choice. War hero Tommy Reardon, who has become an overnight sensation, and Brendan Conlon, the physics teacher, they pulled off a miracle. You can do this. What do you say? 
I can do this. You got him! This is impossible! The two men fighting for the championship tonight are brothers! The war! Are we here to win this fight? Because if we're not, I will throw in the towel.